Hello guys, this is our second lecture. So today we will discuss about hypertext markup language. So before that, we will discuss about the uh, the key the definition of keyword hypertext. So, so what is hypertext? So hypertext is the way in which web pages are linked to together. So whenever we are creating a link, that is called as a hypertext. Then after that, we will learn that is what is markup language. So markup language is a language which does the, which mark up the document using tags different tags and that tags will tell will tell the web browser how to structure it to display then this much of content we'll discuss in this lecture now about the first point that is the introduction to html so so html is the uh, language which de defines the structure of web page then html Elements are the basic building block of HTML web page. Then the every HTML elements are represented by HTML tags. So, what is a tag? So, tag is nothing but a uh, HTML element which is surrounded by Angular bracket. So, here you can see that this is Angular bracket. This is Angular bracket. And in between, in between that there is a tag name. So, the, that tag name will be our HTML element name. So HTML elements are nothing, uh, they are uh, not uh, doing anything special, they are just doing a simple task that is they are rendering the content of page like uh, such as the paragraph that you are writing, the heading that you are writing, tables that you are creating, images that you are inserting there, that things are, uh, that, that content of page is rendered by the HTML tags or HTML tags are helping to render that type of content on web page. So remember that the latest version of HTML is uh, now it is HTML5. So here you can see this is the very basic structure, basic very basic example of HTML document or HTML web page. So that we can run here in the brackets uh, text editor. So I'm using brackets text editor, which is very easy to use. You can also use Notepad in Windows. You can use Notepad plus plus. You can use Sublime Text. Then any text editor you can use, like Eclipse ID, you can use. Then NetBeans ID, you can use. These different uh, IDs are, or text editors you can use for writing the code, writing and testing the code of HTML. Now see in this, this is the basic document HTML document where. Uh, now we can run this which will have the title which will have the uh, heading one and paragraph so i will run directly run this code so just i will click it here so it is showing welcome to the welcome to first lecture that i have written inside h1 tag so it is now rendered here and after that i have returned uh, the hello all this is our first lecture of web technology inside p tag so that is rendered here so this way the HTML documents are written, HTML code are written. So now the turn to you, that is your turn, that is you have to think and write. So now uh, tell me what do you mean by HTML? So write this answer in your notebook. Then what is an HTML tag? Write its syntax and some of the examples. So uh, pause this video and try to write the answers of these questions in your notebook. We'll come to the next point that is HTML page structure. So this is very easy that how uh, th this helps you to while writing the HTML code. So remember that uh, whenever you are writing a code uh, of HTML, first of all you have to write this doc type which will tell the HTML document types. So it will specify that your document a document is a HTML document. Then there is a root element that is HTML. This is the root tag that you have to use. So everything will be in, should be enclosed within this HTML tag. So inside HTML uh, tag, there uh, there are again two parts that you have to define. That is, one is the invisible part, and another is uh, a visible part. So the invisible part you can define with the help of, with the help of head tag. So here you can see that inside head tag, the title tag is defined here, and which shows first lecture. So this shows the title in your Web browser title bar, title of your web page. So head tag is generally used for defining the metadata. So what is metadata? Data about data. Whatever data you are defining, you are uh, using in your web page. Uh, the information about that data that is a metadata, and that is defined inside the head tag. 
Now the visible part is there that is defined with the help of body tag. So that you have to define here. And inside this, you can nest uh, other HTML elements or other HTML tags. So here, the heading one is defined with the help of h1 tag, and the paragraph is defined with the help of p tag. So this way, the HTML page structure you have to follow. Now again, that is you are done. Now again, there are two questions. So do you know the invisible part of HTML page? So which is that? Just explain it. Then identify the visible part tags. So these tags are given here. So out of that, out of these tags, which are the visible part, just write down, just list out in your notebook. Now pause this video and you can answer this, the, these questions in your, you can write the answers of these questions in your notebook. Okay, now we'll continue with the next slide with the next point that is HTML elements. So HTML elements are these, uh, are containing the starting tag, ending tag, and the container in between this. So you can see that this title is the uh, this title hold, this title, uh, starting tag, ending tag, and the content between this is first lecture. So this is called the HTML element, which shows a title. So this way, the HTML tag, this we are using here, starting tag and ending tag here. So this is also a document. Uh, this is also an element which defines the whole document like that other elements are defining something some content in your web page so the paragraph here you can see this in this uh, in this html document in this html page you can see that the body is also one of the html element then this h1 is also uh, heading is also uh, html element this p is also uh, paragraph is also element so these are the elements of your uh, HTML page. So after that, remember uh, never forget uh, the closing tags. So you can see that in every tag there there are closing tags. So uh, that is the uh, that is mandatory or that is not mandatory but that is necessary as per the, as per the W3C or uh, that is World Wide Web Consortium standard. So it is it is it should uh, you should close every tag in your HTML document. Then uh, there are some empty. So now we are we have seen that all these are non-empty non-empty tags. All all the tags are having some of the content. But again, there there are uh, empty tags available in your uh, HTML. So there here uh, see here is the use of br tag that is a line break tag. So which which does not have any content because it's just having a single tag opening tag. It does not have a closing tag. So it does not come with the uh, content. But it is uh, doing one thing that is it, it is applying the line breaks on your uh, the lines where, 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 wherever, wherever you are going to use that tag so in the output you can see the the break is has been applied here so here you can see that the break has been applied hello all after that the break line break is given uh, by the break tag uh, that is br tag so this way th these types of tags are called as as an empty tag so th there is again hr tag that you can use here so i will just apply here hr and you can see that what is the output so we can do one thing here see here we can see the output of HR tag that is it, it draws a horizontal line. So this is again a, an, an empty tag which does not have any content but it is showing the output here that is horizontal line. line. So again the, the small note for you that is always use lowercase letters to represent tags. Never use uppercase letters. It is allowed to use uppercase or lowercase but as per the W3C uh, standard uh, it is it show, you should use lowercase letters to represent your tags. So this is all about your HTML tags, now HTML elements. Now you are done, so you have the questions. That is, what do you mean by HTML elements? Write this in your notebook. Then again, list out the various HTML elements. So again, write this in your notebook. And another task for you here, that is write a small HTML code, which will show the heading, that is hello MCOE, and to the two, three, two, two, three lines or text about MCOE 
and a little uh, a title that is MCU in the title bar. So do it on uh, your people in your notebook, write the code for this, uh, this problem statement. So pause this video and try to solve these questions. Okay, I hope you have paused the video. We will come to the next uh, topic that is uh, uh, HTML attributes. Now the HTML attributes are uh, telling or they are specifying the information, additional information about the HTML element. Now you can see that here I used uh, the title element here. I have used heading element, paragraph element. So all these elements are there, but to specify or to tell about the additional information about this element there, we have to use on the HTML attribute. So remember that every HTML attributes are represented in name value pair. So just for your um, understanding, I will apply one uh, HTML attribute here. Uh, for example, if I want to color the uh, the line here, hello all and all this line, this paragraph. So I will use one attribute that is style. And in this style attribute, I will use color property and then I will use red color here. So now you can see the difference here. You can see the paragraph, the uh, paragraph element now becomes red. So this way, this is the use of your HTML attribute because HTML attributes are changing the uh, behavior of the, the changing the, uh, the state of your HTML elements. So here. Uh, I have changed the color of this paragraph element with the help of style attribute and with the help of color property. Now the uh, remember that uh, the every HTML attribute are uh, used or they are defined in the starting tag only. We cannot define it into ending tag. So this is very important for you. So there are different, uh, there are n number of HTML attributes but here we will discuss about some important HTML attributes like there is a SRC attribute which specifies the uh, source of your uh, any file that you are going to use in your uh, HTML document. Then there is a HTML attribute which specifies the external or internal link address. There is a you, you can observe here that how to use SRC. So SRC is used in um, IMG tag. IMG tag is used for defining it is used to define images. So here you can see that this img tag is having a src attribute which specifies the source of your image that is mcu.png. Now the second attribute is a href attribute which specifies the external or internal link address. So if you want to uh, create a link of any page or any other external uh, site that you can uh, do with the help of uh, this uh, a tag. So inside a tag there is a h Ref R E that is H R E F. This this is the attribute where you can specify the uh, external or internal link address. So here it is provided www.mcoe.coe.nn. The text will be shown here. Hyperlink uh, will be shown. That is MCOE. Now there is a height and width attribute also. So right now just try to understand this attribute because in uh, in next lecture we will uh, actually we are going to use these uh, attributes in uh, practice uh, in in our code. Right now, I'm just going to discuss these attributes here. So, height and width attribute they are generally used to specify height and width of images or pages. Then you can see that uh, if you want to use this these attributes in your ing tag, so you can use like this. You can provide your height like 50 pixels and width 50 pixels. Pixel. Then uh, there is an alt attribute that you can use. So, in your ing tag, wherever you are going to uh, define the images. There you can use alt attribute which specifies the alternative text for image. You can see that whenever this image, uh, whenever the, when this image will not be available, that time it will show this alternative text in in place of this image placeholder. So that is used in IMG um, tag. And the next uh, attribute is the style attribute that we have used here. That it is this type of attribute specifies the style sheet for your HTML element. Now see, uh, to give the red color for my this paragraph, I use this uh, style attribute and in this I applied color property in its value red. So this way the HTML attributes are used. So remember in short that is HTML attributes uh, it tells the additional information about the HTML elements and they are changing the HTML elements by applying these files or by applying the values. So they are generally defining the name value pair. So now it's your turn. 
now your, you have to do on the task that is consider an image abcd.jpg uh, to be used in the size having height 300 px and width 200 px so, so i want to show alternative text that is uh, image sample so write an html code to fulfill this uh, this above requirement so uh, take the reference of this this slide and try to solve this problem statement so do that activity and after that write an html code to apply following style on heading one so already i told you the use of uh, style attribute so with reference to that you you try to apply these styles on heading one that is h1 tag so i hope you understood everything if you have any question please do comment